Hey guys, welcome back to Shared News, reporting from home. I'm Renee Ariel. And I'm Fiona Zaring. <laughs> and today we're trying something a little new for you guys. We're gonna be talking about what everyone is talking about and thinking about and watching on TikTok, Hannah Brown and Tyler Cameron, because something seems to be going on there and we have some thoughts on it. But before we get into it, if you guys are new here, please subscribe to our channel, ring the bell so you get the notifications. You can stay up to date with all the news from us from home. Yeah, from the comfort <laughs> of your own mom and dad's sunroom. Okay, <sighs> so much to talk about because let me tell you, they have been posting so much content, Hannah and Tyler, the quarantine crew, <laughs> and everyone I feel like is rooting for these two to get back together if they are not already together. Oh my God, I love them together. If they're not already dating, all of the sources, like all of the big outlets have a couple of quotes from sources that basically say like, Tyler and Hannah are not in a position to be dating right now, but they're enjoying their time together. Which to me is code for like, they're not official, but they're figuring it out. So give yeah. them some time and maybe they'll get there. And I freaking hope they do. Cause they're so cute. They're so cute. And like, obviously the OG Tana, that's a weird, it makes me think of Tana Mojo. I don't know what their couple <laughs> name would be. Hyler. Okay. You know what? I'm not going to try to invent one, but I really think the OG Hannah and Tyler fans, I was back to Hannah Brown season when everyone was rooting for them to end up together. But Hannah ended up sending him home top three because I think she described it as like he was like too good to be true or she was worried he was too good to be true. Obviously he wasn't. Um, and then she shot her shot on After the Final Rose and we thought, we thought then something was gonna happen. But all we got was like, well, them something spending did night happen. Together. That, they right, spent that the night one, together. <laughs> but then he started dating Gigi two days later. No one was happy about it. But I feel like enough time has passed. Like, I feel like Tyler dated the supermodels, kind of dated Kylie Jenner's friend. And then Hannah was doing her thing and Dancing with the Stars, got her closure with Peter, and like moved on. Yeah. And now and it seems like they remained friendly. Like, yeah. do you know what I mean? Even through like, even through him being her second choice, which I know was like a thing people had a hard time with for a while. Like he's not yeah. second best. Like he wasn't too good to be true. Nah. Well, he moved on. She shot his, her shot with him, but then he went and found Gigi Hadid. Like they both parted ways enough that I think the second choice thing at this point is irrelevant. Her season, yeah. like while we all remember it, it's in the past, it might be the near past, but that's over. They've both moved on. And the fact that like behind the scenes, clearly they stayed in touch. Yeah. Cause you don't just go from like a night together to dating other people, to hanging out with other people, to being super busy. Like she was on Dancing with the Stars. She had no time to do anything to this, to quarantine together. Know. Like that wouldn't make any sense if they haven't been in contact at all. So clearly they've stayed friendly. And I think that some of the best friendships lead to the best relationships. So maybe this was their path, you know? They have yeah. to be friends first. Everyone has their own path. Um, it's like what Peter said, except this actually worked out with, um, he followed his heart the whole way through and he wouldn't regret like any of his decisions. Like this is, <laughs> this is how things needed to happen for Hannah and Tyler to work out. I will tell you, I mean, I think we were all shook when she when we saw her land in Florida and have Tyler pick her up from the airport because you guys this is a time where if you're not and listen some people are quarantining by themselves and like I admire those people here for those people um I was gonna be one of those people but I flew back home to be with my family some people are with their significant others some people have a couple of roommates but this is a time where we're trying to um stay with the people that are closest to us to get by a really hard time the fact that Hannah, it's not like he lived in her parents' hometown because she was staying um, in Alabama with her family. Mm -hmm. Like something mm -hmm. happened and then she was gonna go back to LA. She went to Florida. It's not like he lived in California. It's not like she flew back home. Like she had to take a whole other flight mm -hmm. out of the way to s decide to stay with Tyler for possibly weeks. We don't know how long they'll be together. That's a big commitment. Yeah, absolutely. And the thing is now that they've been, they had to know going into this that like 
okay, if we start our quarantine together and expose all of us to all of the things, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, they had to know there was a chance that this could go on for a really long time. So walking into the situation with that kind of comfort already tells me they were very, very close. Also on a much like sadder emotional note, obviously Tyler's mother passed, which is so, so, yeah. so sad. And there are so many reports that Hannah was so supportive and really helping him through this and really like, there for him in a way that was like instant she like saw the situation hopped on board like was ready to be there for her friend or for her crush mm -hmm. um and I think that that shows a lot because you don't insert yourself in a situation like that unless you're meant to be there you know what I mean like when a family yeah. experiences tragedy you either respect their loss from a distance or you're close enough to them that you're you're ready to be there and be a support system yeah. and she was and her family his family welcomed her with open arms and really appreciated that support so that to me tells a lot i mean tyler's brother is quarantining with them and their best friends ryan and hannah have such a strong connection too she's like fully embedded in the family which is not nothing <laughs> Yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, the fact that they're all, it's hard living with anyone. And the fact that they have not, I mean, if we do like look at timelines here, they have not spent more than a night together in about a year, you guys. Cause that's when filming, filming started The Bachelorette, like maybe, okay, maybe like 11, 10 months, but that's mm -hmm. almost a year. So the fact that they picked back up pretty much where they left off, but even in a more intense setting because they're living together with a group of people, including Tyler's family in a house, not knowing how long they'll be there, it just says so much and they're clearly still getting along. Mm -hmm. But I do wanna, I wanna ask you this question just to play a little bit devil's advocate. So obviously we know with The Bachelor, it takes you away from reality. L real life stops, you know, you don't have a job, you don't have other responsibilities, you're only focusing on love. That's when it worked best for Tyler and Hannah. It was only until they entered the real world. Not obviously she didn't pick him and we can go into that, but like they didn't try to make it work in the real world. You know, like there mm -hmm. were quotes saying, Tyler's moving to New York. Like this isn't the time. However, now when they are kind of rekindling things, maybe once again, the world, ha it, it's outside of the real world. Cause right now everything's halted. It's mm -hmm. kind of all they can focus on is really each other. I mean, mm -hmm. and having fun, having fun, you know, having fun. Exactly. And like, does that mean because in this kind of situation, obviously making the effort to be there for him outside of this in certain times, especially during really important times like his mother's passing, of course. But other than flying to Florida, the um, the level of uh, effort you need to put in right now is a little bit lower because all we can focus on is each is each other. Does that kind of make sense? So do you yeah. think that this could still work in the real world once this is set and done and Hannah's back in LA and he's back in New York? The thing is, statistically, yeah. no, <laughs> right? Like if he's gonna live in New York and she's gonna live in LA and they're gonna spend a couple of fun weeks together and then boom, go back to their own realities, totally separate and apart, Statistically, long distance is hard. Long distance at the beginning of a relationship is even harder. Like those kind of cards don't level up the way maybe you hope them to yeah. if you're a diehard shipper. That being said, and I say this with no shade whatsoever, neither of them really live in the real world that the rest of us live in at this point. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. They're traveling a lot more than the average person. They have a lot of opportunities to work from wherever they want, take extended trips. Like they're not, I'm not saying they don't work hard. I'm like literally no shade period, but they're sort of that like bachelor star reality celebrity that the real true real world isn't coming back for them anytime soon. Yeah. So because that's their situation, who knows? You know what I mean? Like yeah. maybe after this, he comes back to LA with her for three months and then she thinks it'll be fun to go explore New York. Like who knows? They have that kind of flexibility that yeah. two people graduating college, moving to LA, moving to New York, aren't gonna have, you know what I mean? 
So I no, do that think does make have sense. sort of like a, it almost, it reminds me of college. Like what the quarantine crew is doing right now reminds me of the fun times me and my friends had in college where we yeah. would just all be in one house and play silly games and have fun and drink. I mean, they're clearly drinking a lot, drink yeah. all day long and just have a blast and feel like you're on vacation even when you're not. So it will be interesting to see what happens when that bubble pops. I just think that they do have the luxury of being wherever they want to be. Yeah, no, I get what you're saying. Maybe, maybe they don't, maybe I'm wrong, but like based on what their lives have been up until this point, I feel like I always see Tyler Cameron popping up here, popping up there. He's all over the place, you know? So who knows? I hope, yeah, I, I mean, if this is what will make them happy, I, I'm hopeful, obviously, you know? Totally. I feel like these few weeks or months, we don't know, are going to be very telling because that's when you are they're going to be deciding, is this something I want to make work outside when things are going to be a lot harder? We're going to have to travel to see one another frequently. We're going to have Still to make effort. that time. Yeah. So, I mean, and being realistic, like Hannah, I'm sure is going to pick up where she left off with the Dancing with the Stars tour. Totally. Um, I don't know exactly. Tyler was working on the show. I don't know what he's going to be doing after. I mean, I'm sure he's still modeling and doing like social media and all of that. Um, so maybe he'll be more flexible in his schedule where he could see her. I don't know. I just think that maybe the sources are right right now. They're like, whoa, 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 whoa. Calm, calm down. We're just, we're just hanging out together, quarantined in Florida together for weeks at a time. But they're probably just figuring it out and they don't know yet. But they're teasing it because everyone knows that there's something there. Well, and the other thing is, we're young. <laughs> Not every couple wants to be a couple right away anymore. Like yeah. Hannah and Tyler may not be looking to be anyone's very serious boyfriend or very serious girlfriend right now. Sometimes things take time. Sometimes you really are just in two separate places. You're not interested in being in an official, like locked and loaded, like we are here for each other 24 seven, all day, every day. I'm your boyfriend, you're my girlfriend, that's it. Like it's serious, but for the next three, four months, they might not be exclusively dating each other, but not really dating anybody else and keeping in touch and having fun. Like yeah. that's so much more normal now, I feel like with our generation, their generation, that maybe that's it. Maybe yeah. they're just having fun. And who are we to, you know, like have your fun, do whatever's best for you. The thing is people just ship them so hard well, that we're going to be looking for that moment that they say, like, yeah. that's it, we're a couple, you know? But they're also trolling us so hard. It's not like so they're hard. like, whoa, guys, 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 we're just friends. We're just, they're constantly making us question what's going on there. The fact that TikTok of um, the girls uh, wearing masks, one is Tyler and one is Hannah, and then having the Hannah give yeah. Tyler the final rose, and the caption was like, Jupiter is better than Greece anyway, because that's where she dumped Tyler. Like they've been teasing us and that ju there just has to be a reason because let's say there wasn't anything going on between them. It was just super playful and they wanted to make sure it stayed that way and no one was saying anything. They wouldn't tease us this hard. Or okay, if one of them thing. liked the other one more, it just that I think they would treat it differently. My thing is if they are strictly, strictly platonic, like there's a mystery man in Hannah's life that none of us know about or vice versa. If they were yeah. strictly platonic, then I think they might troll. Or if they were on the same page flirting, but not ready to be a couple, but trying to not deny it because they don't want to lie, you know, like they don't want to say nothing's going on because clearly something's going on. They would troll. I feel like if absolutely nothing's going on, you're comfortable joking about it. Or if you're on the exact same page and you're confident in where you both are, and you're not worried that one person or the other person is going to get confused by the trolling, you'll troll. So I am leaning towards there's something going on. They're on the same page. They're having a lot of fun. They're taking us along for the ride. I think they're, okay, the one thing I will say, if I had to put money on it, is that they're absolutely not just platonic right now. Something's happening. She even, there was that video of the live stream where she <laughs> said, cover that thing up. Mm -hmm. meaning his package and then she went or they're just too mm -hmm. comfortable you can kind of get a feel of how close people are by physical touch and how like how comfortable they are getting super close or say, like they're very comfortable and, and they again, have a history 
in they have a history. Quarters. But they haven't seen each other in almost a like. Well, they've seen each other, but they haven't been intimate in almost a year, as far as we know. We no. Oh, wait, sorry, they've never been intimate. Sorry, they've never been intimate because she didn't sleep with him during the fantasies. With, whatever, whatever happened, that has not that line has not been crossed as far as we know for a long time. So they're obviously very comfortable now. That's something to keep in mind. <laughs> I don't know. All in all, I'm here for it. Me too. All of it. Even not knowing. I'm having a fabulous time tra tracking along, being trolled. I'm having fun with it. I think that if they were going to date, it would be because they have great chemistry. They have fun together. They clearly fit into each other's social circles. And after all this time, they found their way back. Those would be yep. my reasons why I would be like, go for it. Give it a shot. See what happens, you know? I think that they're definitely going to be together and should be together because they found the, uh, their way back to each other. Mm -hmm. They're so cute. And Chris Harrison wants to officiate their wedding. So like, yes. do you need more reason to be with someone? I'm sold. I'm sold too. Yeah, televised the wedding. Let's have a televised wedding from Jupiter, Florida in quarantine. I want it. <laughs> okay, but what do you guys think? Do you think Hannah and Tyler are together? Do you want them to be together? Or do you think that they should be with other people? Let us know down in the comments below. But before you go, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to keep up with all of our content. Then click right over here to watch another new video. And as always, I'm your host, Renee Ariel. You can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at Renee Ariel. And I'm Fiona Zaring. You can follow me on all the same places at Fiona Zaring. And we'll see you guys next time.